850 million people live on these little dots, an oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. Mm, look at the edges. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness. Windy is the north azimuth. Grad is the northeast azimuth. Samara is the east azimuth. Seo is the west azimuth. Isolas they're called. Connections to other worlds. Mm -hmm. Words past the Incelindian unknown to you. You only know you've never been there. Grad keep, comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. 850 million people live on these tiny dots. An oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. Want to look at the map of Revachol? The north coast of a verdant island is shattered by the delta of a river. It is the river Esperance. Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city blocks to river islands. La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. To the east, rolling hillsides, La Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of San Baptiste, swallowed up into the mega city. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershall East. And west of the river? Kudon. It's somewhere to live. Not bad. Then there's Jamrock. It's bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. <laughs> then Forberg. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. See now, now that we're on, like boroughs and sections and subdivisions it zooms in a bit mm -hmm. and with each one of these unfamiliar things an establishing shot you know a shot of like some apartments or a street corner or you know busy busy people going about their work day yeah. you know like it's it's just it, each one of these is like just different shots of neighborhoods it's it's like it's a fucking cool way to do it it's so small you can't even see it on the map no wait there it is, north of Jamrock, the strip of coast next to the Greater Rivershall Industrial Harbour. It looks downright despondent. It's almost Coal City, to be honest. No, Coal City is worse. A charred limb. Rain falls on its slick black streets. And then there's the burnt-out quarter in the heart of Jamrock. Is it cold in this bookstore? Or is it just... You. What's up, Shivers? No, this is somewhere to be. This is all you have, but it's still something. Streets and sodium lights, the sky, the world, you're still alive. Mm -hmm. Volition is fucking sick. <laughs> Volition is cool. We go on. What's good? It's not really a map. It's a tourist thing. A picture postcard with buildings on it. Drawn from an isometric perspective, a date in the upper right corner says 48. Man, who needs friends? I got 20 people in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. Oh, shit. Come on now. Or 24, actually. Detailed. Could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor. Even the whirling in rags there. Hmm. Storekeep, can I buy these maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. I'm sorry, what? They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. Yo, I don't care if I'm poor. You don't talk to me like that. Why is this one so cheap? You seem that to... That old thing. Mm. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? We've been browsing so long that she's caught the stench of our poorness. God... 
So I'm not Oprah. Is that what's happening? That's what's up. Okay. All right. Or 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 you ever see the you ever see video of Michael Jackson shopping? No. He's it's just him walking through a store with like two people behind him, and he just goes one of these, one of those, one of those, <laughs> and then yeah, give me like three of these. All right. And then he just walks out. And, people and then they just out. they just they ship it and they take care of it later. That's great. For some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. He was walking through a kindergarten. (laughs) 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 Come on, man, he made Thriller. Leave the man alone. Shit. (sighs) (sighs) Thriller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, dice gods are on my side for real. Steal it instead. Man, failing this is like, get the fuck out of the store. <laughs> Not to her. There's no, and this, it's a white check. I mean, if she says that it's too expensive for you, maybe we're in the right social class for us to steal it without her getting mad. I, I, dude, I'm, I fucking. I loathe thieves with every fiber of my being. I, I I can't even pretend. You know, if 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 fucking uh, uh, if Kim hates us forever, we deserve it. We'll spend the ninety. Always good to be informed of your surroundings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could afford that one, huh? Yeah. Would you look at that? Now, can I can I talk shit on her? For, uh, I hope so. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not. They're quite valuable. Right. Though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents. So as I was saying, you seem to underestimate my resources. Bitch. Yes, yes. Are you interested or not? That's it. No one up. You should have stolen it. <laughs> just for that. Her. Just for that. Oh my this god. This store is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Just take the food out of Annette's mouth like that. As she would say. If you put it that way. <laughs> she would. Uh, look through the shelf. You know. Or steal it and then get, give Annette the money. Mm-hmm. How about that? Give her the 90. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. Wub. So, Punch Bomb has a friend named Matthias who uh, literally, I believe, is from Toronto. (laughs) So, when I hear Dundas, I'm just just thinking of Toronto Man right now. (laughs) These three things are very important to the working class mind. Wholeness, unity, and balance. The point of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. How does that work? It serves platitudes, while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage, and would only give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. Mm. Right. Reggie, <laughs> what do you want? You want you want to walk up to the doctor's office, have it taken care of by the country? Is that what you want? That would be nice. Death panels, Reggie. Oh <laughs> Death panels. You want us to redirect the wastes of money that we the copious, ridiculous amounts amounts of money we spend on military towards helping people? Please. But death panels, Reggie! <sighs> Do you remember the last time you went to the your your local Canadian doctor? How many months did you have to wait to get your checkup, Reggie? How many years did it take before the doctor saw you? And what kind of horrible quality service did you get at the end of that long wait? That's true. That's true. So you're saying I should save myself? Dude, it, like, the spin zone they set up to convince Americans of how horrible of an idea it is 
is the wildest shit. It's crazy. It's the most common sense shit ever. And like, they have the most elaborate fucking, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, like a Rube Goldberg machine, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, of like bells everything. and whistles <laughs> and like little hands with gloves on them to fucking convince people. Toilet paper rolls. <laughs> no, you don't want that. That's bad. They're gonna, they're gonna, the, the death panels though. The, the, it's you walk into a room and sale dominoes oh. <laughs> decide your fate. That's what happens in, in, in healthcare Canada land. <laughs> it's, we never asked for this. It's so insane. Yes. Yeah. Unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Not to mention that. Though it is important to note. Time when um, of the that dude who was a lobbyist for like 30 years came out and said, yeah, uh, my job was to construct a narrative and I did it. And I went on every news story that I could. And I went on every channel that I could and every talk show that I could to specifically push this narrative. And this was literally insurance companies funding millions and millions and millions over the course of years to get him to say what he could to push that narrative. So it's like, yeah. And yet. And yet. When it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Wisdom. Wisdom. At the very least, <laughs> compared to now, now compared to years ago, there's a general vibe of pe most people knowing that that shit is fucking garbage. Whereas I remember a time when, like, there were, you would actually encounter and have discussions with people who were like, nah, but ain't that, ain't that bad, though? And, like, we're legitimately, like, convinced that it's like, no, this is the worst thing ever. And if, if we get healthcare, it's going to make everything awful. You know, like, legitimately, I remember, like, conversations with, like, taxi drivers and things like that, where they're just like, nah, nah, well, fuck that type us. of thing. And you're just like, oh, my God, dude. You need like, to put it into the defense. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it just, this conversation yeah. just, yeah, it just fucking made me think. Oh, man. Um, it's up, when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because your mind that you're ill in the first place dude okay so i've been told that this is and I, I don't know the accuracy of this but i've been told that this is um a cornerstone of like a lot of the way uh mental health is treated in in like or used to be treated in japan okay and like uh that's a big part of the reason why like a lot of it's uh, there's a lot of like um progress was stalled because a lot of problems were based on turning inside to deal with how you can further harmonize with society as opposed to society possibly being at fault you know it was always it's about not, it was it was not them it's you yeah there was a bit of a just get over it sort of ideology is is what i was told at the very least you know we live on the internet where uh, anyone can write in to correct that if that's not the case but i remember being told that like um there's a lot of work to do uh, over there in terms of getting um, recognition for anything that is like potentially society caused mm. issues that is bad the book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium it even lists plants you can harvest magnesium from how to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic who has destroyed his liver and that's very helpful life goes on there's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gold bladder preservatives to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Pre and post factum apply. Nothing worth buying. Oh, yeah. Tricks of the trade. <laughs> Tricks of the trade. Just rub it everywhere. This is just mundane garbage. What's even paranatural about this? 97% chance of finding something truly otherworldly. The throbbing in your head increases with every passing moment you gaze at the I know, right? Yeah. Suddenly, as if out of nowhere, a small green book becomes apparent. The title of it reads, Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. Oh? <laughs> the Pale as the gaps oh? of sections or I'm really tempted to click that's all I need to know. <laughs> but let's let's play along. Okay. 
The book contains descriptions of various pseudoscientific therapies, alternative medicines, and folk remedies involving the pale, also known as le territoire. The territory. For example, it recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or hand broom made from the leafy twigs of a young birch tree from the near pale. Sounds painful. Sounds invigorating. <laughs> like, in a world where the pale exists, pale-related pseudosciences are at least worth investigating. No? There has to be something to it. I'm curious. I'd take a dip. It is, and good for the circulation, too. Mm -hmm. Self-flagellate with pale brush. What else? It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in the pale. Readers are instructed to cover these jars in a shallow oh my God. just inside the pale and leave them there for 30 to 60 days, depending on the potency desired. Will you time trip when you when you drink pale <laughs> aged liquor? Do you start fucking accessing the past? Among other benefits, it is alleged to restore a damaged liver to perfect health. Hmm. Interesting. That seems improbable. See, the time booze rewinds your liver. You understand. Should be good. Probably get my hands on some of that. What else is in there? How is that possible? Is it any more improbable than anything else that human beings put their faith in? <laughs> Fair, Fair enough. enough. What else is in there? For general health and well-being, readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the PAL. Though a sidebar cautions readers to limit each stroll to less than an hour. Didn't, like, Joyce say that the recommended exposure was, like, five or something and she had 22 crossings yeah uh she could stay 22 days in the crossing or something These strolls promise to cleanse the mind of worries and the body of toxins especially if the perambulator performs this ritual in the nude nudity figures prominently in a number of these prescriptions you don't say this is exactly what you need yeah let's take care of that syphilis hmm Okay, Inland, maybe I shouldn't be blindly trusting you. Electrogenetic <laughs> nudism? That's insane. That's beyond dangerous. Huh. Anything else of note? There's an entire section devoted to cures for men who are struggling to perform their marital obligations. Well, I certainly don't need that. I probably need that. <laughs> I want to know more. I want to know more. <laughs> that particular volume long uh, if you'd like to continue reading i must insist you buy it 420 mm -hmm. oh wow we didn't even ask her anything we just started going through wow come sir please no browsing in that shelf that wisdom is not for free wow. i can't have you end up like opening a police store next door and stealing my customers oh no okay we accessed uh a book that was a check to, uh, to get to so i feel like it's a little more special than the other things um but we still need to save money for the rent so we'll come back for that if anything well that was a fucking solid hour kill yeah Everyone knows the most interesting thing about fascists was their magic. Of course. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Alchemy and whatnot. What's that? You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Mm. Is Annette allowed to go behind the curtains? Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. I guess she is. What's behind the curtains? Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? 
The books are all you care about. No. She fiddles with her pendant. She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on you, urging you to buy more books. Oh, you fucking nut. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. Exactly. Examine the strange cage-like trin trin trinket. You see some kind of charm, an irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. Okay, she's not all right. There's something happening here. Or some other cultural, like, hanging ward off the evil thing. This is a traditional Seminese ward meant to provide there you protection go. against ill luck bad dreams, curses, and other supernatural scourges. And who are the Seminese? Inhabitants of Ile de Fantôme, the Seminine Islands down south. It's Kim, no? Uh, Kim was, uh, Seolian? Oh, okay, Seol excuse me. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut before you. Fuck it. YOLO. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. Her hand has closed around her pendant, her fingers nervously playing with the talisman. Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous. She looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? All right. What's on the buffet? Perception. Good shit. This is about the curse. That's why you're afraid. Ma'am, this is different. I'm a police officer. I need to get in there. But I sense this place calling for me. I must investigate beyond the do, threshold. Do, 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 do. I don't care. You can't stop me. I'll open them. Continue. <laughs> All right. I'll think about it for a while. All right. Well, before we drop the bomb, let's uh, let's talk about the curse. No, it's just a storeroom for the employees. I told you. Now, please step away from the curtain. All right. She's almost begging you. Well, I'm a cop and I need to get in there. Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. She stops abruptly as her hand flies over her mouth, baffled by her own <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please don't go there. I can't allow that. You'll only make things worse and unleash the powers. The powers. The powers. I must investigate. You do? My God, even more reasons not to mess with the curtains. Just step away, dear sir. No, I'm going. Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Oh, we're gonna get extreme. It's always good. Go see what she has to say. There is something mysterious about the curtains. Be careful. The curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you, as if taunting you. Yo. Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Why so uptight about the curtains? I want to know what's on the other side. I already told you, it's just a storage room for employees. I don't understand why it's so important to you. Just let it go, officer. Go buy some goddamn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the book. I bet she did witchcraft on of us. Of course! She recites it like it's a poem, or like she's playing a role she's grown tired of. Why are you still talking about books? Are you trying to put a spell on me? It's just a storage room. Why does it have a 70s ward protecting it? Mm. If it's just a storm storage room, then it wouldn't hurt if I just peeked inside. It's like, a, like it's cursed, right? A spell? As if. This place doesn't need any spells or hoodoo mumbo-jumbo. This place has wonderful energy. She wavers under your gaze, mouth pressed into a tight-lipped smile. Then something breaks. Okay, fine. 
It's because this place is cursed. Just like Annette said, they don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. I feel sorry for Annette. Mm -hmm. Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? She closes her eyes and starts mumbling Take something. Easy. You've broken her resistance. Pushing her further will gain nothing. Have you spoken to my son, Kuno? Oh, God. No. <sighs> no. Oh. Uh, how does the curse manifest itself? Why don't you just tell me right away it's the curse? Have you sought help from anyone? The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. A shiver runs through the woman as she looks around the dimly lit store. It's the curse of financial distress, of ruin and bankruptcy. <laughs> okay. Okay. She appears at the curtains again. Didn't, didn't that curtain just move? Okay, I'm a little confused. What does that mean? Ah, Annette mentioned that the previous tenants have experienced some financial troubles. Wait, that's it? I was hoping for something more paranatural. Yeah. But officer, there's nothing natural about entire companies declaring bankruptcy. I'm talking about caca demons feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. Yeah, but the NRA just filed for bankruptcy. It doesn't mean shit, right? There's something wrong with this building, I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, I've sensed an eerie lingering presence, as if I was unwanted here. Hmm, why didn't you just tell me right away it's the curse? Uh, would you like me to take the curse? Uh, okay, let's, let's keep going. It's not good to talk about the curse, not in detail. The negativism she shivers. is dangerous. <coughs> about the void wraiths angers them. The void wraiths. Wow. Void graves. <laughs> you have new words. <laughs> have you sought help? Yes. I've contacted numerous parapsychologists and even a pair of Simonese mediators. They provided me with the wards. She nods at the strange cage like trinket on the curtains. Have you tried Measurehead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where I got it from. The wards help to keep the doom at bay and protect us against the darkness that lies further in the building. Even though now I fear, it's not enough. Hmm. Is your pendant part of the wards as well? Oh, this! No, it's a special Hymian amulet, blessed by desert pygmy shamans with a spell of compulsion. It's to compel people to buy books. There are numerous spells cast throughout the store. I had the books anointed with a different inducement spell, for example. It's guaranteed to boost sales. 15%. Are you sure you're not the Void Wraith? Yeah. Desert pygmy shamans. That sounds like a rather questionable way to describe a group of people. Right? <laughs> Should I investigate the paranatural? Take the case. Most certainly not. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. Stay away. Leave the spirits be, so they can return to their slumber. My liege, you know what this case calls for? A para-detective. <laughs> we have a high chance. Ooh. Should we take it now or keep going on the questions? It'll think it'll go up? It might, it'll probably, it might go up. Yeah, maybe she might give us more information about it. Okay, but please, only a few questions. Oh, you wouldn't we got them all. Disturb the spirits. The woman before you scans the store. All right. Her shoulders rigid and tense. This will tell us how the day is going to go. <laughs> this is the, this is the fucking bar, for how the day is going to go. Slither <sighs> up to her, you silver-tongued fiend. All right. Show her what world-class perfidy looks like. We're not in the gutter. Perfect. We can still we can still sit at the at the table. Some things make sense. Okay. Wait, what if I don't want to lie? Ma'am, I came here to help. I've handled paranatural situations before. Are you sure? Don't think I haven't seen charlatans before. Oh, I sense the psychic emanations from afar. The sleeper beyond calls out. 
I have returned from the void, a power detective from a long time, a long line of power detectives. <laughs> You're no power detective. You look nothing like one, and you're clearly a drinker. Pardon me for being so blunt, but it hasn't stopped you. Hasn't stopped you until now. The lieutenant keeps his usual stony calm. He silently picks out his notebook. I admit I've had my share of drinks, but only because the spectral realm is parapsychologically taxing. <laughs> you see, it's necessary to bring the spirits <laughs> in order to contact the void. Al Ghul hails from beyond the veil, ma'am. Al Ghul guides the way. Uh, these are all pretty good. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like them all. Uh, yeah, you gotta drink spirits to contact spirits. Yeah, I like that too. How do you know all this? Here we go. Your wards brought me here in the first place. The Semenese blood also runs through me. I am not betrayed by degeneracy <laughs> in my blood. I am the Void Revenant. I have the powers to de-bad all the bad energies. Damn, that's pretty strong. Fake being Semenese or fake being... Yeah, we're going to go with this one. Two. This is, this is too... She can call this out too yeah. easily. A pattern lies within the fabric. The hand of fate guides us. Our meeting couldn't have been mere chance. Perhaps you truly are the one to deliver this woman from the doom. But I am not the only one at risk. I have to think of my daughter. You are certain you can help us? Keep us safe? I can't allow any collateral damage to hit us. No problem whatsoever. Your family is safe. The phantoms are no match for me. <laughs> Just ask my partner, Kim. He'll vouch for me. Kim? The most reluctant thumbs up. Kim? He's like, uh-uh. Kim? Uh. We're at a seven, Kim. Come on. Come on, Kim. Oh, uh... The lieutenant mumbles in minor confusion. He has not been listening closely enough. We've put him on the spot. Kim K, let's go! Certainly so, ma'am. I can assure you my partner is eminent in this particular field. If you promise, good officer, good then shit. you might be our last hope. Do you swear it? On my honor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not really feeling the vibe anymore. The psychic force has left me. Full on fucking Sasageo. Let's go. <laughs> The wings of humanity. <laughs> On my honor. Thank you, sir. There's one more thing I haven't told you about yet. The entity. Okay. Do not act surprised. You know of these things, sire. Yes, yes. The entity? Of course. The entity. For I have sensed its presence. You have? The entity takes the form of a woman, a witch, probably. I've suspected that she must be connected to the curse ever since I first saw her. Did you know that she lives inside the chimney? Mm. Chimneys aren't big enough for that. Chimney, the passage between heaven and hell, of course. Yes, that chimney is part of the building's central furnace, and it's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains. God knows what she's doing there. Some unnatural magic, I assume. You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. What is the source of this curse? Here's the key to the warded door behind the curtains. Take it. Somewhere, Cindy the Skull just sneezes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, and please do return to me after you've looked round. I'm quite anxious to know what she has to say about the curse. What you discover in there? Unbelievable darkness and ruin. What you discover? Probably just some office space. Don't be scared. Farewell for now, book peddler. All right. Yeah. So that was a map of Martinez, and she gave us a key to the bookstore back door. 
shall we? Full set. Yeah, what's up with that? A worn and torn map of the Martinez area dating from 48. Title on top reads Bienvenue à Rivachel. It's a bit out of date, as it was originally created by a design studio in a failed attempt to spruce up Martinez and turn it into a fancy tourist location. I mean, clearly French is French, right? Yeah. Like, there's, there's no... There's no mention words on we that. We have a, a mix of a lot of languages. We've seen French, Greek, Finnish. Um, all things. Accents are coming in very French, though. Mm -hmm. The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Trace a path. Your finger moves through the various streets, across Rue de saint Pislain and Rue saint sipa over saint Brun and Martinez North. See, like, this is where it's just like, it's... Yeah, yeah, you are you are getting, like, occasional Spanish and occasional Yank like, German, and, and you're seeing um, umlauts a, a little bit every, yep. now, every now and then. But it kind of reminds me of um, in the islands where, like, there's places that are like very very french named um and like but like we're but obviously like people are speaking patois so it just doesn't come across that way but when you see it you know mm -hmm. like on paper you're like oh that's this definitely was named by the french yeah yeah they did go around a lot. finally come into a halt on the spot where you are currently standing although the map gives no such indication itself there's literally an island called petite martinique yeah you know so All right, we are almost at our next level, and uh, what do I want to do with it? I'm tempted to boost authority so that we can walk around with the clipboard. Okay. Or we can go shivers up. Um. Yeah. Yeah, if we boosted our authority and then dropped two points on it, we would gain one more inland and one more empathy. So we'd get two for the price of one as long as we were holding onto that clipboard. Um, so that seems good. And then uh, we'll see what the results are once this finishes up here. And then eventually give ourselves... I believe I wanted to do... Uh, yes, this. Guillaume, the, if we get if we get a shot at this, maybe. But this is definitely a must. Cool. Many tasks. About to pull the curtain. Yeah. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Hold on a second. Um, the map. We interacted with it. The worn map features the pet. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty much all we could do. Oh wait, no. Oh, it adds this. Uh, cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. So this is the area where we've been going wow. around. Wow, we've south. been we've been here. Yeah. And then you got the other areas up north on the west side, the church that we saw across the waters. Holy shit. Okay, this is our sense of scale. For this area at the very least. So interesting. What the fuck is this? <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. I never yeah, saw what this. What is this block? Yeah fucking giant cracked egg over here is that uh the where the union is um i don't know anything about there but i do know that like the blockade is occurring up on this side okay yeah because this is the broken statue yes, yes yes and this is where all the shit's going down with okay. the you know the equipment um and then we've got joyce over here and then there's a a tempo zan all right.
You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash. A doorway stands in the back, covered in dozens of scary little Sebanese wards. Your shadow looming over it like an omen. Can I, like, take the trinket and then, like, dangle it in front of Measurehead? <laughs> a small terrified ow oh! escapes from Plaisance <laughs> as she tries her best to look away, her round face buried in her hands. Mm. Wow, it's like a Naruto sealed door or something. Yeah, <laughs> actually. I was actually, I'm thinking of uh, ghostly silhouettes of hair dryers. Um, uh, 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 I mean, anything with spirits, but uh, uh, Sailor Moon, I think, was one of the first times I ever saw oh, a door with a bunch of, like, spirit tags on it. Vaguely androgynous portrait of a man. Dio? David Bowie? <laughs> a heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of Semenese trinkets and charms. It appears to be locked. Knock on the door. Only an echo. No one is there. You flinched. I did. That was loud. It was a loud knock. It was loud. Uh, unlock the door with the key or break down the door? We have the key. After exerting some force, you manage to turn the key. It's eerily silent. The door slides slightly open, letting a draft of cold air into the room. Shivers? You feel the tiny hairs on the back of your neck rise up, as if someone's standing right behind you. Touch the back of your neck. What is this feeling? Yeah, okay, maybe you should go first. Outside, the wind howls in from across the bay. The building at Rue de Saint Gislaine stands like a matchbox on its side, with men inside like little wooden sticks ready to catch a fire. A panicking woman squeezes the pendant around her neck until it leaves a mark inside her palm. A man, a few meters away, stands frozen with a key in his hand. God Somewhere damn. Inside, a spider is spinning its web. <laughs> uh, just that fucking little echolocation moment, you know? Yeah. Where are we? Like I said, uh, Neku. Let's go. Okay. Got some kind of bro room. workout. What is this place? The lieutenant stares at the dusty training equipment. It's an adventure. It's the netherworld, beyond the veil. Looks like a gym. Yes, but no one's been here in ages. He draws a stripe on the dusty floor with his foot. I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Don't forget to take it out of your bag before we move on. I must smell. Untouched gym. An eerie feeling rises in your chest. What if there's a reason why no one's been here for ages? Let's keep going. I'm sure it's just a regular abandoned house. Nothing mysterious here. Sounds good. Sand is dripping from the punch bag. Gotta patch it up. Punch bag. The poster says Sitius Fortis. The rest is worn off. Not quite the Olympic, but... Or not wall bars. This looks unsafe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, on your mind. Oh, no. You know what this is. <laughs> you know what this is. <laughs> well, it's time to... This is death! <laughs> no, 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 no. 